the great lie of Roblox building. So on Roblox, there are many different development skills. There's scripting, building, modeling, UI design, animation, GFX, VFX, project management, game design, strategy first thinking, business. There's so many different skills, but out of all of these, people tend to focus on one of them. You know what that is? It's building. And if you're a developer who's in this community at all consistently, you already know this. But the strange thing is, if you really think about it, what skill actually matters? It's not building, because building is how you make a map. And it doesn't mean that you have a full game if you have a nice map. You just have a showcase at that point. But scripting, if we think about it, is obviously the most important skill. So why do people focus on building more? Well, the reason is, it's easy. Nobody wants to do something hard, right? Everybody avoids scripting their game. Even I do sometimes. So everybody focuses on building because their brain is trying to avoid hard work. Thus, most Roblox devs are builders. And I can give an example of this. I, back when I was a kid in 2017, 2018, 2019, avoided scripting by spending all my time building. So you would think, oh, if I wanna make Roblox games, I should learn to script, right? But then that's where all the excuses come in. Oh, scripting's too hard. I don't know what to do to learn it. I don't know where to go. Oh, I, I don't really think that I'm the type of person who could be a scripter. And if you let these excuses win, you're gonna sit there in studio and you're still gonna develop, but you're gonna spend all your time making maps, placing trees, placing rocks, making buildings, making houses. You're gonna do these things that really don't matter unless you have scripting skill so you can actually bundle all that up into a finalized project. So we have all these devs who are just builders who don't know how to code and what do they do? Well, oftentimes people will team up with other individuals who do know how to script. But here's the issue, right? Most devs in this community are very unreliable. So if you're outsourcing scripting to somebody else, even if they're a friend and you don't have to pay them, you are decreasing the chance that you're able to finish a project and release a game. So if you're somebody who is trying to build a career on Roblox, like we talk about on this channel, or you're somebody who's trying to make a game, it's important that you just learn it. Figure out scripting for yourself. And honestly, if you're a new dev, forget about building altogether until you have learned scripting and have a game idea and are actively scripting it. If you have a system that works and it's a fun game concept and you have a prototype for hot potato or freeze tag or whatever it happens to be, then you can feel free and build a map for it. But if you aren't there yet, you have no reason to build. You literally have zero reason to build unless you're taking commissions for building or you are making a game that already has the coding done or has somebody else who's actually reliable, which is rare, coding it for you. Otherwise, building is useless to you. Like really, devs need to stop wasting time building. It's a lot less valuable than we are taught to believe. And really, we're taught this by Roblox themselves. If you think about it, when you open Roblox Studio, what is the first thing you see? Oh, select, move, rotate, transform, uh, terrain editor. You see all these buttons, you see all these panels related to what? Building. So we're really lied to, not intentionally, but accidentally, that, oh, building's the most important skill. If something is obvious and something is easy, that's what people are going to gravitate towards. But this goes on to the next problem. When building is so obvious and so easy to get into, what happens is there becomes a massive amount of builders. Thus, the skill of building is less and less valuable as time goes on. Supply and demand, right? If we have a huge supply of a product like AirPods and there's no struggle to really get them, the price is naturally gonna go down. Stores are gonna discount them. That's why you see discounts on Amazon and Walmart for AirPods all the time. And the newer ones have less supply. So the price stays high. Supply and demand is everywhere in every industry. So. When building is easy and everybody does it, 
it becomes what? Basically worthless. So if you're trying to make money on Roblox, even if you aren't trying to make a game, right? Even if you're just trying to take commissions or teach people how to do something on YouTube, like make a, uh, a map for their simulator, or you're trying to sell developer assets, your building skills are a lot less worthy of money than scripting skills. Scripters are paid more than builders most of the time. So in this market, it's more and more important that you figure out scripting. It allows you to build games. It allows you to get paid more for commissions or whatever you decide to do. We talk about all the different ways you can make money on Roblox on this channel all the time. And if you are sitting there building all day, making your terrain perfect, sculpting every single hill, to perfection and painting little rocks on the sides of it like I used to do years ago. You are wasting your time if that's your main activity. I'm not saying don't build your game once you have some systems and you have a core loop working for your RPG or your simulator or your tycoon, whatever it is. I'm saying don't prioritize it as number one. That is one of the biggest developer mistakes out there. So if you wanna learn more about scripting, go ahead and watch this video here. I discuss the best ways to learn scripting in 2026. Going into 2026, things have changed, especially with AI, and you gotta know how to dive into this properly. I'll see you there.